Shalom lekulam. My name is Rabbi Justin Swain and I'm the campus rabbi of the middle school. I would like to share a story with everyone that I learned from a rabbi, Rabbi Yehuda Amital, who I had the privilege of learning from and learning in the institution in which he created. The story goes as follows. There was a rabbi by the name of Rabbi Shlomo Zalman of Liadi. He was also the founder of the Chabad movement. Rabbi Shlomo Zalman was staying in a railroad house which had three rooms. In the first room, he was learning Torah. In the second room was a baby. And in the third room was his son-in-law. All of a sudden, whilst he was learning, he heard a cry coming from the baby's room. He rushed over, closing his books, into the baby's room and saw the baby crying. He went over to the baby, soothed and calmed the baby down and put it back to sleep. After the baby fell asleep, he walked over to the room in which his son-in-law was learning. He said to his son-in-law, Did you not hear the cry of your baby? His son-in-law shrugged his shoulders and said, I'm sorry, I didn't. Rabbi Shlomo Zalman then said to his son-in-law, If you cannot hear the cry of a baby, there's something wrong with your Torah learning. The message that Rabbi Amital tried to impress upon his students was that when we are in this world, if things are going alright for us, that's great. But we can never forget about those around us. We have to be tuned in to hearing the cry of those around us, hearing the cry of the baby. Rabbi Ephraim Mervis, an alumnus of Herzliya, mentioned in his address to the Herzliya community, in the 80th birthday celebrations, which we celebrated about two and a half weeks ago, he mentioned a quote from the Talmud, which goes as follows. The Talmud says that the main protectors of a city are its educators, its teachers. Whilst the soldiers protect from annihilation, from foe and enemy, the teachers, the educators, protect the identity, the Jewish identity of its inhabitants. We see the role that educators play and we see the role that we at Herzliya play together is that we are ensuring the Jewish future. As we know in truth, without Jewish education, there is no Jewish future. This year has been a year of challenge, one which none of us could have predicted. One thing that's for sure is that what we know is that we don't really know. At Herzliya, although it was challenging, we did our best. We gave it our best shot, tried our hardest, whether it was online learning, whether it was hybrid learning, whether it was staggering the amount of pupils coming back at a certain moment, we gave it a good shot. And for that, we should be proud of ourselves. We should give ourselves pats on the back, saying, well done, we did well. And for this, we should all give our Herzliya school a big, big round of applause. I'm wishing you all a wonderful holiday, a Chanukah Sameach, and a restful break. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Shane Brawson, Principal of Herzliya Middle School. A special welcome to all signing in remotely in what is a truly unique middle school prize giving. Instead of looking at this event as diminished or downgraded, we would like to assure you that there's still a celebration, a distinguished acknowledgement of academic excellence, effort, and achievement. I would like to start by thanking the following people who have made a significant difference to the functioning of the middle school this year. To the mentors, staff, and teachers, the success achieved at middle school this year is unsurpassed, especially with the teaching challenges brought about by the COVID pandemic. I'm privileged to work with a group of dedicated, passionate and consummate professionals. Our online program has taken us to the forefront of education, not only in South Africa but worldwide, and this couldn't have been achieved without you. To grade heads Benjamin Blumenthal, Jason Collins and Bernard Frank, your continued efforts have once again been pivotal in ensuring that all our pupils' pastoral and academics needs have been met across all grades. 
to the middle school executive staff, our managing body, thank you for your role in ensuring the effective running of the middle school during the course of this challenging and difficult year. To Matthew Gruss, Chairman of the UHS Board, your leadership style as Chairman of the Board is much appreciated and I thank you for your support on a personal level as well. To Andres van Rensen, our Executive Director, over the course of the last year I've got to know you and have really appreciated your support and brave leadership during very difficult times. The relationship we have has been built on trust and I look forward to this growing next year. To Judy Kohler, thank you Judy for the most incredible year. You have surpassed any expectations one could possibly hope for in your administration and running of the middle school. The continually shifting paradigms have been met by you with aplomb. On a personal note, your friendship and support is unconditional and invaluable. To Jeff Cohen, my first interaction at Herzliya was in 1988, when as a student teacher I came through my prax at the middle school. The first person I met as when I walked through the doors was Jeff Cohen, now Director of Education. He was then the Deputy Principal of the Middle School. Little did I know at the time that this would be the start of a lifelong friendship and mentorship, which still continues today. Thank you for your advice and guidance again this year, Jeff. As we move forward into 2021, it is critical that we as a school are reminded of the vision of Herzliya and the very essence of what we stand for. The Herzliya vision. The aim of the United Herzliya School is, is to provide the best possible Judaic, secular and cultural education for Jewish children in order to foster their Jewish identity and to enhance their potential for participation within both the Jewish and wider society. Reflecting on the above vision, I feel that staying true to ourselves, our Jewish values, our Jewish identities and what we believe and what we believe in is critical to the success of our school and our community as we move forward into 2021. In line with this, Rabbi Swain shared the following with me during the course of the year. Our sages declare that the Israelites in Egypt were on the lowest level of spiritual impurity. They worshipped idols. They were immortal and self-indulgent. So how did they merit the magnificent and miraculous redemption of the ten plagues and the splitting of the Sea of Reeds? They had, only three, they had only three things going for them. They kept their Hebrew name, their Hebrew language, and their distinctive Hebrew dress. In other words, they retained their Jewish identity. This was their only saving grace. Rabbi Jonathan Sachs aptly states the following, and I quote, For Jews, education is not just what we know, it is who we are. We are so proud to be at Herzliya, a proudly Jewish and Zionist school. However, this is often something that is easily and sadly taken for granted. Our Jewish identity, coupled with the many sacrifices and toilings of our ancestors, has made our grandparents, our parents and us, the people whom we are today. We all have the responsibility and privilege of continuing to connect the links in our Jewish chain. If not us, then who? Reflections on 2020. This year has certainly been a year like no other. The world faced with the COVID pandemic was certainly turned upside down as countries across the world went into lockdown, faced unprecedented economic hardships, as well as many people losing their lives. Herzliya shut down on the 12th of March and on the 13th of March, the middle school online program was up and running. This program has been an unparalleled success with our teachers, pupils and parents working together to ensure that Herzliya maintained the highest academic standard. Our teachers have gone beyond the call of duty and delivered an exceptionally good platform for our learners to excel. We have received the most positive feedback and I feel we are one of the leading innovative schools in the country, as I said earlier. While the teachers have been used, while the teachers have used technology brilliantly to bridge the gaps of distance, I'm the reminder of the quote by Bill Gates. Technology is just a tool. In terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them, the teacher is the most important. The future of education at Herzliya. As we move into 2021, 
we look at the middle and high schools amalgamating to form Hertzlet Junior and Senior High. We look forward to exciting new initiatives and ventures as we strive to improve our educational offerings, specifically working to our strengths in creating new opportunities in all pillars, academics, sports, Jewish life and learning, culture and menschlichkeit. More information about the amalgamation will be communicated to all stakeholders shortly. In no particular order, we would like to say goodbye to the following staff members. Firstly, Ms. Ryder. Beverly Ryder will be retiring at the end of the year. She's been an integral part of the Hertzleff family and will be sorely missed. Ms. Ryder joined the staff in 1993 and has experienced 27 wonderful years at Hertzleff. Initially, she taught music and history but found her true home in the English department where every day she got to do what she loved doing. Teaching, reading, discussing literature and exchanging ideas with her pupils. Ms. Ryder shared the following. Hertzley has been for me the completion of my own education and I appreciate how fortunate I've been to have spent these years working here. Ms. Ryder is also famous and well known for her role in the vocal ensemble, which has taken from strength to strength over many years. We thank her particularly for her role with the vocal ensemble. Maureen Arit-Tarassi has worked at Hersley for 21 years. The thing she will miss most is her interaction with the wonderful pupils at the middle school. She has chosen to leave teaching as she wants to spend more time with her family and at some stage she's hoping to return to Israel. Mrs. Stel Henricks. Ms. Henrik started at Hursley in 2005 as a substitute teacher for six months, which turned into her staying for 16 years. She realized during lockdown that she really missed the busyness, noise and vibe of the middle school. She will also miss the pupils that she has worked with intensely over all these years at the middle school. Ms. Henrik is going to take rest, travel and do community work. We also say farewell to Ms. Mrs. Christel Lottering, in 2017, Mrs. Lottering joined the learning support team. A year later, she filled the position of Senko and then became the ASC teacher. Christelle's calm, warm and gentle demeanor being such a great, great asset and will be missed both in the classroom and in the staff room. Mrs. Shirley Musikant Zacks will be leaving the middle school. She will, however, remain in the Hertzler system as she's taking up a post at Weizmann as both Hebrew and art teacher. We wish her luck with this venture. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bid farewell to the grade nines of 2020. We wish you every success in your upcoming three years that await you at the senior high, and I look forward to joining you on this journey as principal of the junior high school. We now move on to the section of the evening where we'll acknowledge the different prize winners the first group that will be recognised will be the Grade Sevens, run by your Grade Head, Mr. Blumenthal. Good evening, everyone. It's a privilege for me to address you all here tonight, albeit through a different and strange medium, for what is a very special and exciting occasion. Additionally, you will notice that my background differs to the rest of my guest speakers. I'm at home in isolation dealing with the tailwind of COVID that run through my family. For those of you who I haven't met yet, I'm Matt. What a strange time it has been. It has also been a time of tremendous change, growth and development. And although it has been tough, and it has been, when we look back, we should be better coming out of this. This is a wonderful tradition that we are celebrating here tonight. The middle school is a special and unique institution whose character we will retain and build up as it transforms into our new junior high. I attended middle school in 1992 and 1993, back when there were only two grades in the middle school, and have amazing memories of my time here. If your experience is going to be anything like mine was, then look around. Your friend, the people who are your friends today will be your friends for life. Tonight I also take the opportunity to acknowledge and thank everyone who contributes so willingly to the continuing success 
and having adapted so brilliantly to online schooling and then to hybrid learning and then back to essentially being a fully functional school again. The dedicated teachers, the educational support staff, the hard-working and efficient essential and administrative staff, the Hertzlia board, our trustees and the PTA, all who saw all, all too often work silently in the background keeping the school running. It would be remiss not to thank you, our parents, for your support and your partnership in trusting the school and its professional staff to assist in guiding and teaching our children through all aspects of their education and adolescent development. Tonight, though, is really about celebrating the wonderful achievements of our pupils in the middle school. The awards tonight are focused on academic achievements. However, I encourage you to pay attention to those that highlight our Menschlichkeit values which are equally important and something we are very proud of. I quoted this last year and it deserves repetition. Grade 7s and Grade 8s, when the new Grade 7s come in, remember, as I tell my own children, when you have a choice, choose to be kind. This is particularly true during these COVID times. It's natural to be weary of people who contract it, but please remember, it's not their fault and we are in this together. It will pass. In closing, from me, Grade Nines, it's time to wish you luck and bid you farewell as you graduate from here onto our senior high school. I'm so excited for you. This will be one of the times of your life. I hope too that middle school has been an amazing experience for you. Good luck and mazel tov to you all. Good evening, parents, middle school pupils and staff, and all other family and friends watching. I would have loved to have, be, have you seated in front of me so that I can see your eyes and your smiles. But unfortunately, it's still not to be. The reality is that once again, I have to speak through the microphone and the camera lens. And for many of you, I guess, this is the only way you know me anyway. The guy that does video recordings on Monday mornings and special occasions. Tonight is special though. It is a highlight on the middle school calendar. Within four weeks, this year will be concluded. And you, our pupils, whom we were so happy to have back after lockdown, will be on school holiday. For all of you receiving recognition and reward tonight, I want to say, well done. You achieved this, or you deserved what you are getting during an incredibly difficult set of circumstances. When I look at the way you dealt with lockdown and the resultant schooling from home, then I cannot respond other than saying, wow, you actually all deserve recognition for that. Maybe I should have had medals made that I could give each one of you as a token of appreciation. Maybe a little medal that looks like a COVID. You completed the COVID year. I also want to express gratitude to all the teachers who delivered the programs this year that resulted in us being able to have this evening. Thank you, colleagues, for your creativity, your adaptability, your perseverance. Thank you for the quick and professional way that you reacted to the curved ball COVID through us. You did Hertzlia proud. Thank you for giving love and attention and focused energy to every child that came onto your path. Their successes and their achievements are yours too. Lastly, I want to thank Mr. Shane Brawson and Mrs. Judith Kohler for their passionate leadership in the middle school this past year. Next year will be different because you will be part of the larger high school, but your passion, care, and sensitivity to the needs of our pupils and staff did not go unnoticed. And I am glad that we will have your qualities available to strengthen the leadership team of the high school in 2021. You are needed and you are valued. Parents and pupils, may this evening's prize giving bring you much joy and may it be a catalyst to even greater achievements coming. Thank you. Hi, my name is Itai Shulman and I'll be playing Covered Wagon Days on the piano.
feels like just yesterday that we were grade 7 pupils entering the middle school for the very first time. In our oversized blazers and shiny new school shoes, ready to meet new friends and embrace this new chapter. Fast forward three incredible years later and here we are, looking back on special unforgettable memories that we made together as a school. Tonight we celebrate our valedictory, a recognition of hard work and achievements. We want to congratulate every pupil who receives an award tonight. It is well deserved. These past three years have flown by. I clearly remember our middle school orientation in grade six. I remember being in awe of the countless corridors and classrooms, Mr. Frank showing off the snakes in the science lab and Mr. Chado conducting astonishing experiments. All the students working so independently on their very own devices and the grade nines who looked so big and grown up. It was such a surreal, full circle experience to lead this grade sixes around our special school on their orientation just a few weeks ago. I couldn't believe how quickly we had grown up into more mature, confident young adults. Each of us has formed bonds, built friendships, faced new challenges, overcome fears, and discovered new passions and interests. Nothing could have prepared us for what 2020 had in store. A reminder of the unpredictability of life and the importance of seeing the best in every situation. The transition to online schooling was done with perseverance and determination, and it is something you should all be commended for. Within days, a new online program was implemented so that when we were at home, we could continue our education. It was a huge learning curve for everyone, but day by day, we adapted to this new style of learning. It goes without saying that this year has been tough on so many levels. We don't need to recount the struggles of online learning or lockdown over and above the personal challenges we faced. What we think is worth mentioning is how much we've learned, grown and achieved this year. We learned to value even the simple things like coming to school every day and being able to see our friends. We've come out stronger with a whole new skill set and a completely shifted mindset. This year has taught us the importance of seeing the best in every situation. We've turned obstacles into opportunities. And we can think of no better example than Hertz's 80th celebration. Hertz's 80th has shown us that even during scary, uncertain times, there's always something to be celebrated and to be grateful for. This year, we continue to work hard, but we also managed to make meaningful, fun memories. At the beginning of the year, we had Friendship Day, our joint gala with the high school, and Grade 7 Clita. Before, during, and after lockdown, students took part in several Olympiads. During lockdown, the members of the Student Council joined the Grade 7 and 8 mentor groups, and it was so nice getting to interact with everyone again. We also made a number of videos, like the Song for Teacher Appreciation Day. We've continued to have our weekly assemblies, both fun and informative, and hopefully not too boring. We've had several Menschlichkeit Mondays and different drives, such as the Masadi Soup Drive, Mask Drive, and the Play-Doh Drive, where we made Play-Doh for the students to use at Good Hope Primary. We've also been getting back into sporting and cultural extramurals, which has been very exciting. Grade sevens, your first year at the middle school has been completely unique and unlike any year that we could have foreseen. You've not only had to adapt to a new school, but the new reality that we all face under a pandemic. Nevertheless, you remain so lively, optimistic and resilient. Keep embracing everything life throws at you and good luck for your next two years at junior high. Grade eights. It's crazy to think that you'll be the seniors of the school when we so clearly remember you first arriving here as little grade sevens. Lead by example and be role models for next year's grade sevens and eights. Put your best into your academics, but remember to find that balance between working hard, having fun with friends and making the most of all that's offered to you. And to our fellow grade nines, this was definitely not the year we expected. And even though we missed out on a lot of the usual grade nine experiences, we didn't let that get the better of us. Senior high is so near to us, both figuratively and literally, and we can't wait for the next three years together and all that senior high has to offer. Congratulations and good luck on our next journey. For me, middle school has been a place you feel accepted no matter what. We all come together and become one big family. The nurturing learning environment makes you want to keep exploring new things. There's always an opportunity to improve on yourself and there's always a second chance. Nothing is set in stone. I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say how grateful I am for this time between primary school and high school. 
we have been able to discover more about ourselves and become more confident in the unique individuals that we are. Next year is going to pose a variety of new challenges, but all the lessons and values that we've learnt along this journey are the reason that we can feel ready and excited for any future adventures. Before we end off, a few thank yous are in order. A massive thank you to Mr. Brawson, your meaningful guidance throughout the year and how you always show interest in everything we do has truly motivated us to work harder and to never give up. You never limit our creativity and we thank you for that. To our incredibly committed, passionate, dedicated teachers, you really have been the superheroes during these tough times. Thank you for making lessons engaging and exciting, for always having your classroom doors open should we need support or advice, and for that contagious passion with which you teach. Your hard work and dedication do not go unnoticed. Thank you to all the essential staff and security guards for yet another year of tireless work always fulfilled with a friendly smile. Thank you to all the parents. We wouldn't have been able to accomplish what we have this year without your love, guidance, support and patience. And now we stand here, grown into our oversized blazers, wearing still shiny, new and slightly small school shoes but undoubtedly our smiles are bigger than ever, proud to be a part of this amazing school. We are so impressed and proud of each member of the Hertzen Middle School family. We've accomplished so much this year, we kept moving forward. We didn't give up and let anything get in the way of us having our 80th year celebration, receiving a world-class Jewish education and having one of the most memorable, rewarding years yet. And it is for this reason that we feel this quote by Martin Luther King Jr. is so relevant to this year. He said, If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Benjamin Blumenthal and I am the Grade 7 Head. We have come to that part of the evening where we will award the academic achievements in Grade 7. This award is given to those pupils who have maintained an academic average of 80% and above for the whole year. I will read out the names in no particular order. Naftali Baynard, Amelie Bielski, Matteo Kosia, David Bass, Ruby Nates, Zach Rogoff, Eden Sachs, Jessica Sherman, Oliver Frankel, Daniel Kushner, Clive Lowenthal, Benjamin Marks, Jack Nathan, Leah Rodenacker, Joel Shamley, Samuel Bagram, Amy Hutchison, Benjamin Lazarus, Michael Marr, Danny Schochert, Samuel Stavely Alexander. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish the recipients of this award and their families a hearty Mazel Tov. This is really a tremendous achievement considering the difficulty of this year and the fact that these children have maintained the academic performance. Mazel Tov to you and your families. Good night. Good evening, I'm Jason Collins, the head of grade eight, and it is my great pleasure to announce the prizes for academic achievement. This is awarded to pupils who got above 80%, and I'm reading the names in no particular order. These are awarded to Kate Brosen, Daniel Chaskelson, Alyssa Doninger, Judd Jokum, Josephine Kirsch, Jaden Klagsbrun, Anna Lieberman, Noah Ziv, Kira Leib, Idana Seven, Kai Seif, Maya Sherwitz, Madison Tolberg, Amy Vogelman, Mika Berman, Daniel Bieber, Michael Hendler, Jenna Myers, Yakira Roraway, Ethan Werb, Matt Weitzman, Sarah Allardyce, Rafaela Amoyles, Sienna Dibovitz, India Harris, 
Aidan Kusevitsky, Jonah Lustig, Noah Sherman, Ruby Webb, Mia Burnham, Liam Chin, Mariana Demondenka, and Aaron Lustig. Big mazel tov to all of these prize winners. Your hard work certainly paid off. Our middle school art pupils have been hard at work this year, producing some spectacular pieces of artwork. They have studied a variety of techniques to create these works. With each practical project, they also learn some theory or learn about an artist or movement in history. Our grade sevens worked on mask illustrations where they were introduced to Pablo Picasso and the way he was influenced by Africa. These illustrations started off with planning in the visual diary and looking at all interesting shapes of African masks. They were instructed to experiment with mixing paint and blending oil pastels to create a rich and varied effect. The grade eights developed their mask illustrations from the previous year into three-dimensional masks, where they had to make use of relief and actually raise part of the masks. They used paper mache, clay, beads, string and brightly coloured acrylic paint. The Picasso influence can be seen in the fragmentation and the multiple viewpoints of the faces in some examples. The grade eights consolidated the elements and principles of art by illustrating each one in circles and making a book cover for the visual diary in mixed media. Our grade nine studied Salvador Dali and the movement of surrealism in theory, and for practical, they painted their own surrealist artwork, digging deep into their subconscious imagination and creating a surreal artwork. They also learned about all the printing techniques in term two, and this term, they printed a lino cut using South African lino cut artists for reference. You can see the examples of the carved lino cut which they engraved with chisels and then printed onto paper consolidating relief printing. Good evening everybody, my name is Mr. Bernard Frauenknecht, also known as Mr. Frank, and it gives me great pleasure as the Grade 9 Grade Head to read out this evening's awards and prizes for the Grade 9 Year Group. Just to explain to you, when I mention a prize for academic achievement, this means that the pupil has achieved at least 80% or above as the year aggregate overall for their academic work. I begin. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics, physical science, biology and Jewish life and learning, and the subject prize for Hebrew, drama, English, Afrikaans, EMS and geography, as well as for her dedicated work as head of the student council and excellent service to the student council, Taya Allardyce. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in Hebrew, English, Afrikaans, EMS, History and Geography, and the subject prize for Art and Physical Science, Leah Benjamin. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in esteem, for his work as the Deputy Secretary of the Student Council, and for his contribution to the Morning Minyan, Matthew Carroll. A prize for academic achievement and for excellence in art, Leila Chait. A prize for academic achievement, Talia Garvin. A prize for academic achievement, Amy Gluckman. For excellence in esteem, for his service to the Student Council and for his contribution to the Morning Minyan, Tristan Goldstein. 
For excellence in e-steam, Adi Levine. For excellence in music, Joel May. A prize for academic achievement and for excellence in English and EMS, Ethan Myers. For excellence in drama, Jonathan Querido. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics, Hebrew, drama, English, Afrikaans, EMS, geography, biology and Jewish life and learning, and the subject prize for history and physical science, for her excellent service to the student council, Ella Videtsky. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics, Hebrew, English, Afrikaans and biology, as well as for her service to the student council, Aaron Baruch. For his service to the student council, Daniel Buchalter. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in music, Zachary Castro. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in art and geography, Joshua Daniel. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in Hebrew, Drama, English, Afrikaans, EMS, History, Jewish Life and Learning, Biology and Physical Science, and the subject prize for Mathematics and Geography, as well as for her excellent service to the Student Council, Ashley Dietz. A prize for academic achievement, Jade Gershowitz. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in Hebrew, Drama, English, Afrikaans, Physical Science and Jewish Life and Learning and for a dedication to the Student Council, Shaili Geber. A prize for academic achievement for excellence in mathematics, art, EMS, history, geography and physical science, Julia Hassan. A subject prize for e-steam, Jake Katzen. For excellence in history, Kiara Kowalski. A prize for academic achievement and for excellence in Afrikaans and EMS, as well as for her service to the student council, Talia Lehman. For excellence in physical science, Jada Leave. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics, Hebrew, music, English, Afrikaans, EMS, History, Jewish Life and Learning, and Physical Science, Ella Levy. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics, drama, English, and biology, Ava Rathner. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics, drama, Afrikaans, EMS, History, Geography, Physical Science, and Jewish Life and Learning, as well as for her excellent service to the Student Council, Isabella Sherman. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics, Hebrew, English, Afrikaans, EMS, history, biology and physical science, and the subject prize for music and geography, for her dedicated work as Deputy Head of the Student Council and excellent service to the Student Council, Jenna Zettler. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in e-steam, for his service to the Student Council and for his contribution to the Morning Minyan, Leo Bachman. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics and art, Gabriella Belkin. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in mathematics, geography and biology, for her hard work as the Secretary of the Student Council and for her excellent service to the Student Council, Gemma Khan. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in art and history, Chiara Franco. A prize for academic achievement and for excellence in e-steam, Daniel Gad. A prize for academic achievement, Ella Gluckman. A prize for academic achievement for excellence in mathematics, physical science and drama, as well as for her excellent service to the Student Council, Gina Joffe. For excellence in e-steam, Erin Levine. A prize for academic achievement for excellence in mathematics, 
drama, Afrikaans, geography and Jewish life and learning, Leah Marx. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in Hebrew and Afrikaans, and the subject prize for music and biology, Jamie Tarley. For excellence in E-STEAM, Ryan Aaron. For excellence in E-STEAM, Thomas Bax. For excellence in E-STEAM, Grace Beryl. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in English and Jewish life and learning, Isabella Corollison. For excellence in Beginner's Hebrew, Meg Levy. A prize for academic achievement, for excellence in Hebrew, Art, English and Afrikaans, as well as the subject prize for Jewish life and learning, Leila Musikamp. For excellence in music, Karen Schiff. For excellence in Beginner's Hebrew, Isaac Schall. For excellence in music and the subject prize for Beginner's Hebrew, Jonathan Wilson. That concludes the awards and prizes for Grade 9 this evening. In closing, I'd like to say thank you to all the Grade 9s for the wonderful year that I've had, being the Grade Head of your year group. And I wish you all the very best of luck as you enter the new phase of your learning, the senior high school phase from grade 10 onwards. I wish you all the very best. And the only advice I can give to you is grab every opportunity and make the most of those opportunities. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Amanda Varkel and it is my pleasure to announce the certificate winners for the most improved pupil in grade 7. These certificates are awarded in recognition of pupils who over the course of the year have made noticeable improvements academically, socially or emotionally. We are acknowledging the following pupils for their hard work and consistent diligent efforts throughout this difficult and challenging year. They have made excellent progress deserving of this recognition. In no particular order, Lulu Pickering, Cameron Ashington Stewart and Saul Zapira. And it is my pleasure to announce the names of the pupils who are going to be awarded the grade certificates for the most improved in recognition of their efforts over the course of this year. In no particular order, Noah Araliski, Gabe Marsden, Kira Leiby and Kirtana Reddy. The grade nine certificates for the most improved pupil are awarded in recognition for the pupils who have shown considerable growth, not only in their academic progress, but also their general maturity, confidence, and interpersonal skills. In no particular order, Holly Cadenhead, Grace Beryl, Gemma Mendelssohn, Daniel Wolfson, and Jonathan Wolfson. The Judaica Cup is awarded to a pupil who has displayed pride and love for Judaism and has set an example by being a positive role model. She has enthusiastically initiated planned, organized, and assisted in Shabbat assemblies and challah raffles. She was one of the most consistent participants in our online tefillah services during the lockdown period. Her modesty was demonstrated in her delegation of tasks to others, and she gently encouraged the involvement of as many people in the committee as possible. Isabella Sherman. Good evening. I'm Judy Kohler, deputy of the Herzliya Middle School. It is my privilege to hand out the Premier Awards of this evening. Top Academic Achiever in Grade 7, Daniel Kushner. Top Academic Achiever in Grade 8, Sienna Dibovitz. Top Academic Achiever in Grade 9, Taya Allardyce. Overall Sporting Excellence Award. As no winter sports were played this year, a decision was made to acknowledge a pupil who has excelled in a summer sport. This year's recipient was an integral, part, integral member of the exceptional under-15 water polo team that played in the COVID knockout finals. Not only has the, this recipient continued to excel in the pool, but also in open water events. He was selected for the 1920-2021 Western Cape Open Water Squad as well as the Cape Town Aquatic Youth Squad. For this reason, the worthy recipient of this award is Matthew Carroll. The Cup for the Most Improved Student in Grade 7. The, this award goes to a pupil who has gone from strength to strength throughout the year. 
As she gained independence and took ownership of her academics, her confidence and work ethic grew. This pupil has demonstrated a strong and determined character and has exceeded all expectations. She is a kind pupil who is well liked and whose true character was shown during lockdown by overcoming the challenges of online learning. Raquel Diamond. The cup for the most improved student in grade eight. This award goes to a pupil who has gained in confidence and whose work ethic and academic performance have improved despite the challenges of this year. She has demonstrated a strong and determined character meeting the academic demands of the grade eight year with success and has become more independent as the year has progressed. Cameron Bastick. The cup for the most improved student in grade nine. This prize is awarded to two deserving pupils. Both of them have shown tremendous growth in their three years at the middle school, not only in terms of their determination and work ethic, but also in their general confidence and the way in which they relate to teachers and fellow peers, Elijah Zarr and Joshua Daniel. The award for service to the community. This award is presented to a pupil who has demonstrated care and commitment to the betterment of the wider community. She has served on the student council with pride, hard work and integrity and epitomizes a true leader. She generously gave of her time to ensure that outreach projects were completed. She is always polite to teachers and her peers and is a shining example to Herzlia in and out of school. She, is all, she always puts others first and is willing to help at all times. Jenna Zettler. The Herzlian Middle School Citizenship Award. This award is presented to three pupils who truly deserve it. The first pupil is extremely committed to Herzlia and all it embodies. She is a true leader who is always the first to offer assistance and is always willing to help. At the same time, she is also willing to step back and give other pupils opportunities when needed. She embodies the Jewish values in all that she does. Gemma Khan. The second pupil is someone who treats everyone with respect and always greets you with a smile. She assists wherever needed and never expects recognition or praise in return. She is an ambassador to her peers making sure they feel heard and included. She embodies the Jewish values in all that she does. Shyly Giver. The third pupil is someone who epitomizes the meaning of the pillar of Menschlichkeit. She is truly respected by all her peers. She is a reserved leader who often does the work behind the scenes without expecting recognition. She is always polite to teachers and her peers and is a shining example to Herzlians. She embodies the Jewish values of all, in all she does. Ashley Dietz. The Gemelut Hasidim Award. This award goes to an individual who shows outstanding initiative through acts of loving kindness. She is value driven and leads by example in all she does. The middle school can testify to her kindness, compassion and dedication to helping others. She is regarded by her peers as caring and unselfish and shows respect to everyone. She is known as a friendly pupil who accepts everyone for whom they are and she is never judgmental. Isabella Sherman. The Principal's Cup for service and contribution to the school. The deserving winner of this award achieves high academic results as well as excellence in mathematics, physical science, history and Jewish life and learning. She received the subject prize for Hebrew, drama, English, Afrikaans, EMS, Biology and Geography. She is a member of the Middle School Vocal Ensemble and has been a member of the Drama Club from grade seven to nine. And she took a lead role in the school musical last year. She is dedicated as head of the student council and her role as a leader was exemplified in the smooth running of the student, student council this year. Her service to the school has been exceptional in the past three years and she always offers her help, even at a moment's notice. This is done with a smile and a warm demeanour. 
She is incredibly polite, respectful and takes immense pride in everything she does. She shows initiative and leads by example. Taya Allardyce. The Principal's Cup as Best All-Rounder. This trophy goes to two incredibly eligible and deserving recipients. The first recipient served on the Student Council as Deputy Secretary this year. He excels in both academics and in sport. He received a prize for academic achievement and for excellence in e-STEAM and biology. He received honours for swimming, was selected for the Western Cape Open Water Squad and the Cape Town Aquatic Squad. He also came 16th nationally for grade 9 out of 3,000 pupils who wrote the World General Knowledge Olympiad across South Africa. He competed in the final round two of both the SA Maths Olympiad and the Wits Maths competition. This recipient is courteous and a role model to his peers, Matthew Carroll. The second recipient of this trophy is a proud Hertzlian who has served as head of, on the student council this year. She is an absolute all-rounder. She received a prize for academic achievement and for excellence in mathematics, physical science, history and Jewish life and learning. She received the subject prize for Hebrew, drama, English, Afrikaans, EMS, biology and geography. She took second place in the junior writing category of the Holocaust Centre White Rose Creative Writing Project. She is a member of the Middle School Vocal Ensemble and has been a member of the Drama Club from grade 7 to 9. She took a lead role in the school musical last year, received a distinction in the Advanced Royal Academy of Dance Examination, completed her Trinity grade 5 drama exam and took part in the Cape Town Drama I Stedford. She competed in the final round two of both the SA Maths Olympiad and the Wits Maths competition. This recipient displays exemplary behaviour and is always willing to assist staff and fellow pupils and often helps spontaneously without being asked. Taya Allardyce. I will now announce the house winner for 2020. We took the Gala, Netball Ladder Challenge, TP Challenge and Counselors Games that were held during lockdown into account. Third place goes to Maccabi. Second place to Samson and the winner of the House Shield for 2020 is Gideon. I would like to congratulate all the prize winners of 2020. Thank you.